I bought myself a present. Let's do an unboxing and look at it together. It's not exactly art supplies. It's kind of craft supplies, but still not quite. A little bit like a craft kit, but it is like a toy too. It brings out my childlike sense of play and creativity. I'm excited. I've never had one of these before. And let's open it up. What is it, you ask? <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> it is a Lego dried flower centerpiece kit. Lego Botanical Collection. This Lego centerpiece is actually in the look of dried flowers. Let's go ahead and do Lego dried flower centerpiece unboxing. You know, I have never had my own Lego kit before. This is the first one. So it's like an, an adult Lego project for me. Thanks for watching this Lego Dried Flowers centerpiece unboxing and discovering what are Lego Dried Flowers with me. I'm Kathleen Erla Johnson. Leave a comment and let me know what was your first Lego set or what kinds of Lego projects do you like to do? Anyone else who's never had a Lego set before? There we go. I appreciate everyone who subscribes to Creative Sally Studios, and let's see what's inside of this box. Who knew there even was such a thing as a Lego centerpiece? What are Lego dried flowers, you ask? And who ever heard of Legos as a centerpiece on your table? Ta-da! I see numbers, two and four. These are autumn colors, so this would be a really nice Thanksgiving centerpiece. This was actually what I, what I saw it advertised as. Okay, seven packages, autumn colors, and here's the instruction booklet. Gorgeous. It's like a real flower bouquet, a real spread of flowers that you might put on your Thanksgiving table or hang on the wall, but it's made of Legos. This book has a description. Everlasting creativity. I like that phrase. It's starting with number one and with pictures and arrows and zoomed in close-ups. Hopefully it will get me through the construction of my first Lego set. In the back there's a list of how many of each piece is and the finished product. Woohoo! 76 steps to get to that. Is this book the same? This one starts at 77 and goes through 186. It is possible to make a wreath or a wreath candle holder out of these Legos also, but I read in some reviews that you can't do it with just one kit. You need, I think the reviews said four kits that you put together. I'm looking forward to putting this together, but I can't resist just taking a peek at something with you here. I'm gonna go with this one because I see a fun tree. Oh, how cute. A 
pine tree Lego. This looks like it resembles a pumpkin or a gourd. Some botanical bases and leaf and branch shapes. And then your traditional connectors or bases. But like I said, this is my first Lego kit. So I'm gonna have fun playing and exploring with this and creating something fun to put on my table or coffee table or hang on the wall. Something really festive. Thanks for sharing this unboxing with me. One more time, this is a Lego centerpiece from the Botanical Collection. You can get them at a few different places online. The Lego Dried Flowers centerpiece for making dried flowers and having something fun, some decor for your household. Thanks for being creative with me today in this unboxing and taking a look at my first Lego set.